Hello guys, this is Ravens from DJ Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 152. WhatsApp is getting more and more serious about privacy and encryption post it back in early 2021. As it seems that the company will soon offer end-to-end encryption for local backups, leading to better security of chat data even when it comes to backing them up. This comes after WhatsApp has sorted earlier that it would offer end-to-end encryption on chat backups that would be synced to Google Drive. Now WhatsApp will be bringing the same for local backups of chat as well. This move is quite welcome since any byte of encryption is approached in today's day and age. WhatsApp is rolling out the View Once feature to Android and iPhone users. Photos or videos sent through View Once can only be viewed once. However, the recipient can take screenshots or use a screen recorder while opening the photo or video to save them. Madhav Seth mentioned in the latest tweet mentioning that Europe's fast growing smartphone brand is Realme in such a short span of time with a 1800 percentage of year on year growth surpassing top 5 brands in quarter 2 2021 and he also mentioned that they are on a track to be an industry disrupting tech brand for all the Realme fans this unprecedented growth calls for celebration of Realme Europe Again by the Madhav Seth mentioned a new Twitter post mentioning that inception of speed to taking to the next level everyone has pushed their limits over the last century and the Realme also mentioned that they are going to bring their upcoming Realme GT series smartphones with a four different variants this gonna bring a flagship killer series experience for the 2021 and he also posted four images mentioning that share speed flagship of 1929 and a 1966 and a 1969 and 1970 with a few car models in it. Each image is describing about a each model of the smartphone which is going to get released. For the 1921 image, they have mentioned that flagship born for speeding. For the 1966 mention exceed top speed and the 1969 lasting full speed and for the 1970 they mention redefined future speed. In the latest episode of Ask Madhav series, Realme CEO Madhav Seth confirmed that the company will be soon launching two more devices in the series called as Realme 8i and Realme 8s in India. Smartphone brand Poco on Wednesday announced that it has sold over 20 lakh units of Poco C3 smartphone within just 9 months of its launch on Flipkart in India. Xiaomi has confirmed that it will be hosting an event on 10th August in China at 7:30 p.m. to launch its latest flagship smartphone the Mi Mix 4. It will be the brand's first smartphone to feature an under display camera sensor. Ahead of the official launch some key details about the smartphone have been surfaced online. The Mix 4 will come with an all ceramic unibody design and have a support for ultra wide band technology. IQ8 has been teased by the company while the brand had already confirmed that the upcoming smartphone will be launching on 17th August 2021. IQ8 will be the first in the world to feature an EFI display that is made by Samsung. It is the fifth and the latest generation of luminous material that is used in the South Korean tech giant OLED display panels. This device will even offer 517 ppi pixel density and will have a 2K resolution. The Motorola Edge S Pro smartphone was teased in China. The teaser showcases the smartphone from the rear and teases its upcoming launch that is scheduled for August 5th. The Edge S Pro might feature a Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 chipset paired with a 108 megapixel primary image sensor on the rear along with 50 times super zoom magnification as well. And it also sports an OLED display panel that supports 144 Hz refresh rate. The Honor Magic 3 was spotted on the benchmark under the model number ELZAN20. The tested device is based on the Snapdragon 888 Plus chipset and has 12 GB of LPDDR5 RAM and it also comes with a 512 GB of storage which supports UFS 3.1 drive and runs on Android 11. The app also confirmed the presence of 120 Hz display in the device. It is noteworthy that the benchmark estimated the performance of the latest flagship Honor Magic 3 processor at 179500 points which is less than that of a smartphones based on Snapdragon 888 processor this can be explained by the fact that the test was carried out by an engineering sample of the smartphone and it's not the final version prepared for the release Honor X20 5G will be launching in China on August 12th. This phone will be the second in the series following the Honor X20 software edition that launched late in June. Honor has also shared a couple of specifications for the phone revealing that it will be powered by a processor based on 6 nanometer architecture. According to the latest poster, the phone will be launching at August 12th at 7:30 p.m. in China's time that is around 5 p.m. IST. And it also revealed that it will be coming up with a 66 watt fast charging and a 120 hz refresh rate 
display and a 6 nanometer processor which is expected to be the octa core mediatek dimensity 900 thanks for watching this video please kindly support my channel by giving a like share and subscribe and follow digi integrity on twitter instagram and facebook